I can't believe how uh, intrepid and smart they are. I had them reading some pretty theoretical materials on cultural studies, looking at, you know, ideology as an articulation of a view in a social context, or looking at how local knowledge, which would include superstitions or uh, rumor or numerology or something, um, how they compete with official discourses of knowledge, um, uh, how they read sort of... Uh, there's a, there's a lot of new black women writers who have ta turned to detective fiction. So we read some materials on feminism and they were able to grapple with different models of sort of feminist liberation and see that a detective, which has traditionally been a man, could be a black woman and be a kind of edgy critique of gender politics even. So I was stunned. I mean, I, I, I like teaching first years um, because they, you know, a lot of times haven't, uh, become afraid of what they think are their limits, you know, and um, uh, we were talking about this, that I like to teach criticism because really uh, studying literature in college is not just studying literature, it's studying uh, critical approaches to literature, ways of thinking about literature and interpreting it, so I, I am, I'm, I'm smiling because I was shocked at what they were able to comprehend this time, and this was the first time this past fall where I actually gave them pretty theoretical materials on cultural studies. Another thing we read was uh, looking at how a modernist reading of a work, you know, the, uh, the essay dealt with uh, uh, Conrad's uh, Heart of Darkness versus Tarzan, and Heart of Darkness is uh, always mediated, the voices, the narrator, the implied author, you're always, as a reader, at a remove from the, the object, the thing, and so you you have to do a lot of work to figure out what's going on and who's speaking and what the limitations of each point of view are. Um, versus Tarzan, a similar story, it's iconic, which means you, got, you have a lot of pictures that tell a story, that have meaning, right? And so popular literature tends to be much more iconic. But that's a pretty sophisticated, I, I think, a pretty sophisticated idea to get a modernist reading versus a popular visual reading of culture. But they were able to use that in their in their final projects, which they did independently. They had to, as groups, uh, present new interpretations of just recently published uh, detective novels by um, the black women. There have been, you know, there are a lot, and they you know, and they chose from a list of about twenty, and they had to work together. But they had to act as critics, at doing a first reading, and some of them did. Uh, and some of the guys did feminist readings of <laughs> black women, <laughs> and, and they had to consider audience, too. They had to consider themselves in the position of a black woman reader who's consuming this. I'm getting students that I had as a first year return as a fourth year and do an independent study. And we have a tutorial now. All English majors take a, seat, it's a capstone course. And I'm having them come back and follow up what we did at the first year level. So, no, that sounds tooting the horn, but I, it's really nice. Yeah. It, 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 and then there's some, there's some continuity in the curriculum. And, then, and that's the kind of student, of course, you want to come back as a grad student, right?